Oh man, okay, <clears throat> bright and early Tuesday morning, so it's still dark outside, it's supposed to snow uh, a little bit later today, and maybe two foot by tomorrow, so we'll see how the bus drivers do. Today I'm doing a review on the Mama's Bear Sandalwood Vanilla. Uh, I took the label off and put it on another container, uh, actually it was a puck. And what I did is I did the same like I did the other one. I just put it in here, microwaved it for about 30 seconds, and and so it's stuck in there pretty good. The scent profile uh, actually reminds me a lot of Amerikesh from uh, from uh, Ginger's Garden. So that being said, uh, I didn't bloom this soap. I'm having a good time with these glycerin soaps. Uh, I did some I did a couple reviews on some glycerin soaps in the past and I didn't like them at all. Uh, this one here, you can hear it. It's very lathering up really good. A little bit thirsty, so just to be expected with the uh, non-blooming. So today is picture day. <clears throat> we'll get our pictures and our uniforms today and uh, see who drives the bus, huh? Anyway, I'm using my Rod Neep two band badger brush, <clears throat> stabilized burrow wood. Uh, so um, I'm not in too much of a rush, I just got to move steadily. So um, the stuff just lathers up very nice. Uh, the scent uh, has gotten sweeter since I uh, released it through the uh, lather. So um, see what I can build from this, huh? So, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to be using a fond razor to shave off the ugly since it's picture day, huh? So, now maybe I'll grow my goatee out a little more after I get the picture taken, but where you got the pre-shave on, so look at the lather, huh? This is a nice uh, change from the tallow soaps. Uh, actually, uh, so this is made in uh, England. Oh no, wait a minute, I'm looking at the uh, Taylor of, that's a different soap. Anyway, this, uh, I guess I should have listed what ingredients are in this and all that, but these people are based in, this company is based in um, Northern Wisconsin. About as far north as you can get in Wisconsin and not cross the Canadian border. So uh, this type of soap, uh, if you leave it on your face, it'll dissipate a little bit. The slickness is really, really good. Uh, the scent right now is uh, not extremely strong. I can smell it. It does smell a little bit like Marrakesh. So, this razor is flawless, I tell you. Uh, I'm trying to be neater with my razor so I don't have to go down and uh, put them under light like I always do. Because uh, that's just another thing to do. It's not feedback. This 
the razor shaves like a boss. All right. Feeling good. First pass. Pretty good, like that. Uh, the slickness is very nice. Uh, my face doesn't sting at all, you know, so that's good. There's a couple more soaps I'd like to try. From Mama's uh, bear, Mama bear. So, okay, pass two with my special razor. I am finding that this uh, Fawn razor, the Japanese razor, needs to be uh, touched up more often than <clears throat> the Philly and the uh, Double Duck I own. Which isn't a big deal, of course, because I have stones. Be right back. I just looked outside, man, those clouds are just black. I don't see anything coming through them at all. So, <clears throat> I'll drive in the rain, snow, I don't care. I'm not group on it. So, all right, pass number three with the Fawn Razor. Actually, I could have got away with just doing two passes because it was a pretty good shave, but... Suicide Blonde.
All right, so I'm going to do a quick rinse off and I'll be right back. Marrakesh. Pretty cool, huh? I didn't even have to comb my hair. I just rub the shit in there and leave it alone. Let me use a touch of this because it's pretty a, a strong scent. Oh, man, my face feels good. Nice and smooth. Put on the regular Witch Hazel, uh, Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal, and the Gold Bond for Men. So, I am done with my shave. My review, my final comments, rather, of this soap is that I'm really, uh, I'm really liking it. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, Mama Bear's uh, Sandalwood Vanilla. Uh, I don't really get... Of course, I got the Marrakesh on now, so all I really smells menthol. But before, I wasn't really getting getting either or uh, scents, uh, sandalwood or vanilla. Uh, predominantly, I was getting uh, a nice um, scent that wasn't convoluted. You know, it was just a, a nice mixture of scents. Uh, I do like the uh, glycerin soaps because I've had uh, Phoenix and Crewman soaps and. Uh, uh, Barrister Man soaps that were a tallow based and they just disappear really quick because they're so soft. Uh, this one here is actually uh, nice and hard, built a big lather. It's, it's different than the, than the uh, tallow based soaps or other types of soaps that use the oils and everything. Uh, what I'm getting left out of my brush is pretty generous. Uh, it's nice and sticky. It's got uh, uh, just a really nice feel to it. My face feels excellent. Uh, so that's a that's a big thing for me because sometimes my skin is really sensitive and when I go over with a three-pass shave I'll have some irritation as uh, minor as it might be. Um, I even try to uh, reduce the time that the blade is on my face to reduce any irritation. Uh, I would recommend uh, going to Mama Bear Soaps, their site, and checking out some things and maybe look on YouTube and see what other people are saying. It's not a soap that has been uh, really embraced by a lot of the uh, wet shavers I see out there. As you know, and I'm going just according off what I see on YouTube. There's not a lot of uh, people uh, doing reviews on it, but this soap is excellent. Um, uh, I feel great, man. I feel like a hundred bucks, you know. I got my favorite sweater on. I'm gonna go out there and meet some cold, and uh, gonna go start my week. So this is Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge, here in Denver, Colorado. Straight razor sales and service. And remember, even if they force you to go to work, it's always a good day for a shave. All right, man. Take care, then. Bye.